Hello everyone, my name is Lucy the First and this video is about how I built my creative legacy. I'm a content creator, DJ, producer, and creative director. Check out the timestamps below so you'll know exactly what topic you are in for. Let's get started. Well first, to introduce this video, here is why my creative legacy means so much to me and why it is so important in my life. Not only is building my creative legacy important to my career, but it's really important as an artist and my personal life. It is how I find deep meaning in my work and drive productivity. What is a creative legacy? To me, it is the big picture goal. It is the ultimate why behind my motivation. As an artist, I strive for my work to be impactful. Quoted by Matthew Carey, he writes, your creative legacy isn't your work. It's how your work affects the people it touches. How they are affected is measured in the stories they tell themselves and others. Creative legacy is our ultimate why. Here's a quote by Simon Sinek, author of Start With Why. Regardless of what we do in our lives, our why, our driving purpose, cause, or belief never changes. For me, the big picture goal is to make a positive impact on the world by bringing people together in a meaningful way. Not only is our creative legacy our ultimate why, but it is also our big picture goal. It can't be defined like the goal of having 1 million subscribers, but rather something you influence and develop over time, such as inspire artists to find happiness in their business and life. For me, my big picture goal is to make a positive impact on the world by bringing people together in a meaningful way. My ultimate why and why I wanna achieve this is that I want creators like me to feel secure in the uncertain world of art and lead fulfilling lives. But to boil it all down, I'm simply saying that my creative legacy is to bring people together because together we can make great things happen. And that is my creative legacy the big picture goal combined with my ultimate why. And how can you define your creative legacy? For me, it started with a story. I was 15 years old in a mall hanging out with my best friend. This is the age where I started going out without supervision, so I had this trust and newfound sense of freedom. My friend and I, we walked by this large empty stage that they were setting up for an event to later happen that evening. My friend turns to me and says, I dare you to go on that stage and sing everyone a song. I turn red because I'm quite the quiet kid and I was pretty shy. So it's to my surprise that I agreed to her dare. Before the fear of getting kicked out caught up to me, I jumped up on the stage and began to sing. Side note, I am not a great singer. I'm not a good singer even today. So this was way out of my character. I was getting into the first verse and a family stopped with their children. I started getting quite nervous, choking on my words. I forgot how to breathe. Nervousness really came forward. However, I stuck to my guns and I've decided, hey, we are facing our fears. Let's get through this. After the first verse, a crowd started to form. It wasn't just one family stopping. It was a couple to a few. These groups of families started gathering around. So I kept singing. And it was this story that helped me really understand my creative legacy and my purpose. This story is about a young girl taking the chance, facing her fear and diving into bringing people who didn't go to that mall that day to watch a 15 year old try to attempt to sing a song. They came for something else, but they stayed for that experience. That's when I realized I didn't have to be the most talented in the room to be able to do great things and to bring people together. To inspire and to lead is to do the work. It's to ignite the light and be that light for the people at that certain time in that certain moment. This story is the seed that sparked my creative career and my creative legacy. And I realized the potential to bring people together because together we can make great things happen. So let's talk about finding your creative legacy. Let's think about the big picture goal. What is it that you like to achieve? Maybe it is to achieve stability in your own entrepreneurial pursuits. Or maybe it is to open our organic market with locally sourced goods. Once you set up the goal, you'll have to do some digging to find your why. 
Maybe you want to achieve entrepreneurial stability so you can have the wealth and freedom of time to spend with your family and work on other entrepreneurial pursuits. Or maybe you want to achieve a locally sourced organic storefront so you can provide your community with quality, nutritious foods, as well as support farmers so they can sustainably feed communities such as yours. When finding your creative legacy, don't forget to think about your big picture goal and discovering the important why behind it all. Enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up so I can make more videos like this one. Have a question? Feel free to leave a comment as I would love to hear from you. My goal with these videos is to help develop and grow your creative legacy as well as enhance your productivity and to build a supportive community of creators. So hit that subscribe button and share this video. Thank you for tuning in. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one.